we know where the prison is and you know oh gosh that's so close but I don't think I had and probably my neighbors had any expectation that he would be coming here. Early Friday morning I was awakened by the sound of a dog barking and it wasn't my neighbor's dog so I looked out my window and it was surreal. There were police cars, more than 20 police cars, all lining over there down the street with police dogs. And, and I think that for as long as he's at large and staying in this general area, um, people have, you know, will have a, a higher level of anxiety. And see if we have any you know, coming through there. You know, I got some texts early on. So if it's somebody that's local, we give them our phone numbers to reach out and let us know. If you're um, we're here to basically do a live stream of any activity of the area to keep the residents at least, um, to give them some ease and comfort knowing that there is a police presence here. There are police vehicles around. You can hear a chopper overhead. It's a very fluid scene and that's what we want to show people. We didn't expect it to turn into a story that the public, at least in Chester County, would rely on us for information for, so that became now a, a task force. We can't back off after building that um, presence with them and giving them the coverage they want. 